you uh, worked at the Weather Channel before uh, you joined IBM and um, you know joined the Watson team, but can you tell me about the Weather Channel's work that made it of interest to IBM? So the Weather Channel was a media business, and it had been in business for you know, 20, 30 years, and we knew we needed to change. And, and so the, the, the journey to become the weather company was a journey about becoming a big data software business and helping use technology to provide insights to people and businesses to help them make smarter decisions. So if you think about your own life, the weather drives a lot of your decision making. Where am I, am, am I going to walk to lunch? Am I going to have to take a taxi? Uh, am I going to eat outside? Is it, you know, what am I going to do this weekend? Those decisions in your own personal life are influenced by weather, and that trickles down to businesses. And so businesses are heavily influenced by weather. In fact, a third of the world's GDP is impacted by weather every single day. And so helping businesses make smarter decisions related to weather was what we turned the business into. And, and that was obviously very attractive to IBM because IBM is all about using technology to help businesses become you know, more uh, competitive, uh, more cost effective, uh, more profitable, to help them grow, to help them make smarter decisions. And so it was a very natural fit. Um, the weather company has been using machine learning for uh, you know, decades um, and evolving those models and evolving the skill and the capability of our machine learning uh, to help make our forecasts be the world's most accurate. And, and in terms of this, uh, the uh, actual, when you think about the weather channel as data, and there's all kinds of data, there's weather data, there's traffic data, all kinds of data. When you think about where, uh, you know, this as a metaphor for the journey of more businesses uh, in the future, I mean, would you say that it is a good metaphor for where a lot of other businesses will find themselves at realizing their data is their unique selling point? So, you know, data is the lifeblood of every business. And for a long time, businesses spent a lot of time and money getting data into a, a data warehouse or into a storage system. And then that data would just sit there and collect dust, digital dust. It would just get old, people wouldn't use it properly, people wouldn't explore that data. And to really get the insights that you need to make those smarter decisions, you have to see data as a living, breathing entity of your business, just like your employees are. And so for, for me, the focus that we've been on with bringing the weather company into IBM, working, reworking a lot of our evolution of the Watson data platform, Watson itself, the IBM cloud, all of these things, it's all been focused on data. Because data, whether it's big data, or more and more now small data, small data packets coming from IoT devices, from sensors, from the iPad, from, from your phone, from your car, from your refrigerator, these small data packets give us great insight into the world around us and into your life and into helping make a better decision for you and for the business that you work in. And in terms of Watson itself, I mean, I, um, the, the popular notion about Watson is a big machine that can beat the best chess players in the world. Now I know IBM is a gigantic company and it's built a huge business around Watson. Where's Watson at in its development as a platform? So Watson, there is no one Watson. Uh, there's no giant machine that you know is is there. I mean, obviously Watson, whether it's you know with uh, Deep Blue playing chess or the you know Watson playing Jeopardy, um, these are great ways to showcase to the general population the capabilities of where uh, uh, you know AI or machine learning or deep learning all come together. So Watson is 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 a cognitive system and it brings together many different variables and many different components, ranging the full spectrum of machine learning to deep learning, bringing AI into play and bringing that to life in applications. So Watson is a series of, you know, uh, of APIs. It's a series of capabilities that leverage a full breadth of AI computing, you know, foundational you know, systems and capabilities across the board. Bryson, thank you very much.